When you look around, you see that many plants and trees are covered in leaves. From a distance, you might imagine that branches and leaves are arranged at random, haphazardly. The fact is, however, that the point where every branch will emerge, the sequences of the leaves on the branch, and even the symmetrical shapes and flowers have all been set out with fixed laws and miraculous measures. Plants have been abiding by these laws to the letter since the moment they were first created. In other words, not a single leaf or flower emerges by chance. How many branches a tree will have, where the branches will spring from, how many leaves a branch is to have, and the arrangement of those leaves have all been determined beforehand. In addition, every plant has its own unique branching and leaf sequence laws. Scientists are able to classify plants on the basis of these sequences alone. The extraordinary thing is the way that two poplars, one in China and one in England, for example, are aware of the same rules and proportions and apply the same ratios. It cannot, of course, be chance that creates all plants with their own unique mathematical calculations. The creator of this beauty and flawless form is omniscient God. As is revealed in the Quran, He to whom the kingdom of the heavens and the earth belongs. He does not have a son, and he has no partner in the kingdom. He created everything and determined it most exactly. Let's perform a brief count of the leaves of this plant in the pot. Let's continue counting until we encounter another leaf on the same level. At this point, let us also remember the number of turns we made around the stem. The two numbers we obtain, the number of leaves and revolutions, will be the first two numbers we see in the Fibonacci series. Had we begun counting in the opposite direction, then we would have obtained the same number of leaves, but at a different number of revolutions. The number of turns in each direction and the number of leaves encountered during these reveal three consecutive Fibonacci numbers. These sequential forms may be circular or spiral, depending on the species of plant. One of the most important results of this special sequencing is that leaves are arranged so as not to cast shadows over one another. According to these proportions, known as leaf divergence in botany, the order in the way leaves are arranged around the stem has been determined with particular numbers. This arrangement is based on an exceedingly complex calculation. If n is the number of revolutions we need to make, beginning at one leaf, until we encounter another leaf at the same level, and if p is the number of leaves encountered during this cycle, then p divided by n fraction is the leaf divergence that exists in plants. Leaf divergence equals number of leaves in a leaf cycle divided by the number of revolutions. Fractions peculiar to some plants are as follows. 1 over 2 in meadow plants, grasses. 1 over 3 in marsh plants. 2 over 5 in fruit trees, apple trees for example. 3 over 8 in banana species. 5 over 13 in bulbous plants. The way that every tree from the same species is aware of this ratio and abides by the proportion determined for it is a great miracle. How does a banana tree, for example, know about this fraction and how, no matter where it may be in the world, is it able to abide by it? 
According to this calculation, when you begin from any leaf and make eight revolutions around any banana tree trunk, you will encounter another leaf at the same level and at the same time encounter three leaves in this cycle. No matter where you go in the world, from South Africa to Latin America, this fraction never changes. Just the existence of such a leaf sequence ratio is important evidence that living things cannot come into existence by chance, but that they were created with an exceedingly complex structure. It is almighty and omniscient God who encodes such a proportion in the genetic structure of living things and creates them with that information. The numerical miracles we encounter in plants go further than these. Although the branches we see on the trees around us may appear to be arranged haphazardly at first glance, they too are actually arranged according to an exceptionally complex plan and mathematical calculation. Botanists have identified the golden ratio numbers inherent in the branching of a growing plant. We may now consider the example of the sneezewort plant. Let us look at the relationship between branching and the golden proportion in this plant. As the plant grows, a new branch emerges from every bud and a new branch from that one. If the number of branches in a horizontal plane is counted, then Fibonacci numbers can be seen. The Fibonacci series is an important key to understanding the fine calculation and arrangement in plants. This shows the order and aesthetics in leaves and flowers arranged according to the Fibonacci series. The fact that plants are shaped according to specific mathematical formulae is one of the most evident proofs that they have been specially created. The sensitive measures and balance in plant atoms and DNA also exist in the plant's external appearance. Other proofs of creation involving the golden ratio include some flowers, seeds and fruits. The sunflower is one of the finest examples on this subject. If you pick up and examine a sunflower, you will see that its seeds are arranged in spirals. And if you start to count all the seeds in the spirals turning to right and left, you will find two consecutive numbers from the Fibonacci series. This is certainly not limited to the sunflower alone. The leaves of densely seeded plants, such as the cabbage, also form spirals running to right or left around a central point, as in the sunflower. Daisies and pinecone scales are also set out in right and left spirals. If you count these one by one, you will again obtain numbers based on the Fibonacci series, in other words, on the golden ratio. These numbers in the spirals in plants will be 5 over 8 and 8 over 13 in pinecones, 8 over 13 in pineapples, 21 over 34 in the central florets of the daisy. 21 over 34 in the central florets of the daisy. And 21 over 34, 34 over 55, and 55 over 89 in sunflowers. Evidence of God's flawless creation can be found in all this fine measure and regularity. The flawless creation of plants has been revealed in a verse from the Quran, and we are told that this is also important proof for believers. It is he who sends down water from the sky, from which we bring forth growth of every kind, and from that we bring forth the green shoots, and from them we bring forth close-packed seeds. 
and from the spathes of the date palm, date clusters hanging down, and gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates, both similar and dissimilar. Look at their fruits as they bear fruit and ripen. There are signs in that for people who believe.